Hello guys, welcome to e-mini project. In this uh, mini project, uh, we will design something called a USB LED light. So, what is it? Uh, is that? I mean, there are many uh, many products available in market with this name. And uh, what it does is, when you plug it in your uh, computer's USB port, it just glows up, and like in the dark, it will give you light. So it's kind of torch, which is powered by USB or something like that. When it's dark, uh, you want to use your keyboard, and unfortunately, your keyboard is not uh, that doesn't have keyboard backlight. Then this provides light, and you can continue with the job. So I thought of making one myself. So what what are what all things that uh, we'll need by uh, we'll need to make this uh, USB LED light? So we'll need one uh, LED, as you can see here, and uh, I I suggest uh, not to use uh, normal LEDs. Instead, we can go with one high intensity uh, LEDs. This is I don't remember uh, where I purchased this one, but was this, this was just uh, available in my uh, closet. And uh, I think it's uh, one with high intensity than normal LED, normal 3mm or 5mm LEDs. And uh, as you can see, it has got one heatsink at the back also, and uh, cathode and anode are there. So th that's the, this is the LED that we'll be using in our uh, project. Then uh, we'll need, yeah, this is a USB mail connector, and we'll put it on, put this one on uh, uh, this uh, PCB here. We'll, we'll use this PCB to mount all these things, and uh, we'll need uh, resistors to limit the current through uh, LED, and we'll need two wires. And the main property that uh, this wire should have is uh, this wire should be a bit stiff, and they should not uh, like it. They, they should stand on whichever shape you keep it. Like if I bend it like this, it should stay in this position and should be able to carry uh, the weight of our uh, LED. And yeah, I think weight of LED should be enough. And then we'll use a, some heat shrink to make our uh, product a bit professional. So these all things, these are the things that we'll need for our uh, USB LED light. And uh, here is another set of uh, components that we'll need for. Uh, uh, so okay, let me let me ask you a question: like, uh, how much uh, current uh, will pass through our LED uh, such so that uh, we'll get a considerable amount of brightness and uh, our USB port doesn't get damaged? So I mean, the thing we need to consider is like. Uh, USB can supply, USB 2.0 can supply around 500 milliamps, USB 3.0 can supply 900 milliamps. So, you should be well uh, inside these uh, limits so that our uh, USB port doesn't get damaged. So, we'll need to make, uh, we'll have to make one test setup for uh, testing our uh, LED. Uh, I mean, if you have a data sheet, uh, data sheet and you, you have intuition like uh, how much current will correspond to and I mean in the data sheet if they specify like how much uh, uh, light intensity will this uh, LED give without heating up because we won't be using any heat sink and uh, that's enough for your uh, application at that particular current but uh, I, I don't have any data sheet for this LED so I decided to make one test, uh, test setup and uh, see like how much intensity is uh, good enough for my uh, for our application like it's just uh, uh, main application this uh, device will have is like uh, providing keyboard light in case of dark or um, in case of dark it can provide light to some other work also so uh, so how much intensity is enough and uh, it should come with uh, proper amount of current that is less than uh, 500 milliamp so uh, we'll make this test setup and i will give you a schematic also so what all things we'll need we'll need one uh, breadboard supply that will go, uh, go on this uh, breadboard is the breadboard then uh, we'll need a few wires to connect our circuitry and we'll need one potentiometer this potentiometer will uh, vary the current flowing through our led and we'll be able to see various intensity and we'll decide which one is enough and uh, i suggest you uh, have one one k pot and uh, yeah that's all the components that we'll need for our uh, uh, usb led uh, light so now let's go to our uh, test bench setup where we'll 
uh, try to get uh, intuition about uh, current corresponding to uh, its intensity so here is our uh, schematic uh, fridgen schematic for our uh, test setup so uh, this is our uh, breadboard supply uh, this one is ground here is vcc and uh, corresponding here is also vcc and uh, ground so we'll connect uh, anode of our uh, led to vcc that's a positive terminal and uh, i mean in case of the led that i showed you previously uh, there is no clear remark of uh, positive and negative i mean anode and cathode so what you can do is you just connect a multimeter and uh, the i mean the led will glow up when you will connect uh, your uh, positive terminal of your multimeter with uh, your anode of led and cathode of led with the negative terminal of your multimeter and uh, yeah remember to put it in the diode mode so that will uh, i mean that will give you the idea of which one is anode and which one is cathode so here we have connected anode to the uh, vcc and uh, we have connected cathode with uh, potentiometer here and uh, other terminal of potentiometer will go to the breadboard supply uh, i mean ground of the breadboard supply so that's our uh, uh, schematic for our uh, test setup and uh, i think yeah that's it uh, so we'll vary this potentiometer here and uh, we'll come up with uh, optimum resistance and uh, corresponding uh, led intensity so here is our uh, test setup in action so as you can see this is the led that i have connected and i have even connected the heat shrink if you don't know how to uh, solder electronic stuff you can uh, look up on youtube there are many videos in this category so i have just connected uh, our leds with heat shrink and uh, made this uh, i made the kind of schematic, uh, schematic that i have shown you here is our uh, breadboard supply and yeah remember i have connected it to i mean set it to 5 volt so we'll put uh, and uh, give 5 volt to our test circuit and here is our multimeter to measure the current so uh, and the supply to our uh, breadboard supply is coming from a wall mount adapter here so let me just turn it on and we'll see the amount of uh, current right now flowing through our uh, led so currently you can see the glow and current is 40.4 milliamps now uh, i mean before uh, turning your uh, uh, wall adapter on uh, you should set your potentiometer to around uh, like i mean 500 ohms so that and provided the supply is uh, 5 volt so that not much current will flow through your led and uh, one more thing is like uh, this led is having a drop of 2.7 volt around it so uh, the uh, voltage drop around of resistor will be around 2.3 volt so if you divide 2.3 by Uh, the amount of resistor you will get the amount of current into the led now uh, let me just change the value of potentiometer get the screw driver here and if i change the value of potentiometer and see brightness has gone down a bit as you can see that brightness has gone down and current is 2.4 milliamps now let's increase the current let us get it up to the uh, oh this mood see brightness is going up and i have pumped up around 200 milliamps but at this uh, milliamp LED has started to get heat heated up, so I have again decreased it to uh, 47 milliamps. So I and I think uh, this is like enough intensity in the dark. So I will rock it on to uh, 
around 50 milliamps and so we just varied our potentiometer and uh, got different uh, intensity now we'll have to measure the value of resistance that this potentiometer has given us for uh, this intensity so now let's measure the value of uh, resistance now i have removed everything and just uh, connected our multimeter in uh, resistance mode across this uh, uh, potentiometer terminals that we had uh, initially connected to our led and it is showing the reading of 48 ohms and mm, so we can connect a 47 ohm resistor okay that we'll talk about it uh, later on so this is the value of resistance it uh, gives my led uh, the amount of intensity that i think will be enough so i mean and uh, this won't be the case with you i encourage you to do the same experiment with your led and uh, come up with uh, optimum resistance and again yeah intensity is on your choice whatever but the main thing you have to keep in mind is current should not exceed 500 milliampere if you can get the usb 2.0 and that's the only consideration so this is a schematic of our uh, final circuit so we'll be connecting uh, uh, 5 volt output of uh, usb mail connector with uh, anode of our uh, led and uh, cathode of our uh, i mean cathode of led gets connected to the negative or the ground output of uh, ground pin of uh, usb mail connector and this is our 47 ohm resistor uh, this can depend on i mean this uh, resistor will be very depending on your led and uh, yeah this terminal is uh, just a uh, interpretation of your uh, heat sink but we are not uh, using that so no need to worry about that and this is the thing that uh, put up on uh, the pcb uh, next thing of our interest is uh, like which terminal of our usb mail connector is positive and which one is negative so if we keep our uh, usb uh, connected in this fashion then the terminal at the top is going to be our positive terminal and the terminal at the bottom is our negative terminal and uh, you can even look up uh, google images for uh, even more detailed uh, description of other pins but uh, pins of our test are only topmost and the low and the i mean the pin at the bottom so these two terminals are plus and minus we'll uh, connect this uh, thing to our uh, uh, general purpose circuit board and we'll connect led plus uh, 47 ohm resistor so that will finish up our product here is our thing uh, finally putting everything together so here is our usb connector and at the back i have connected two 100 ohm resistors in parallel because i couldn't find any 47 ohm resistors so this is our uh, yeah 200 ohm resistors in parallel and finally collected our led so now let's uh, plug it in our uh, USB port and see what does it give us. So here's my laptop and just push it in. As you can see, it has just lit up the room. I'll just turn off the light so that you can see it a bit more better. So in case light goes off, you don't have to worry anymore. Just point it in the correct direction. And there you go. All right then, thank you for watching. Uh, you can check check out my previous videos at my channel. Uh, if you like this video, please hit like and share, and uh, subscribe to this channel to look at other nice projects that I'll do in future. Thank you.